Hello and welcome back. My name is Trisha Jafiani and in this tutorial I'll show you how you can deal with the errors that results out of the functions or formulas and uh, performed in excel. There are two types of error functions that can be used which is the if and a and the if error function. These two function determine whether the cell contains an error value and returns the custom result when a formula generates an error and a standard result when no error is detected so let's see the first function for the error which is the if na function as the name suggests if na will only give you the result if the function or the formula returns into an or results into an na error the next function which is the if error function if error function will return a custom result when the formula generates any error for example div error value error ref error name error etc for that matter any error that comes into the excel due to the functions of formulas that is performed so let's start to understand how does the if error function work so let's see in our example here i can see that the scores of the students are given for each of the subject and then there is an out of four that means it is giving you the the total number of score out of which these scores they have achieved so then i need to identify the percentage of the total score they have got so then in that case i'll have to do the total of all these four subjects which is maths physics chemistry and biology which i have done in the percentage column and then divided it by the out of four now for the first one i have received the div error because you can see that in the first cell for column f the out of four is mentioned as zero so when i divide it uh, divide the total score by zero it is giving you the div error second one you can see that i'm trying to total bob score and divided by the out of four here the out of four is 400 so it is correct however it is giving you a value error reason being you can see for maths the score is mentioned as a now it could be probably uh, bob was absent when the maths test was conducted and hence it is shown as a so it is not able to identify the number hence it is giving you a value error now i will try and use the if error function in order to see wherever there is an error i will want cell to give me the result as zero instead of giving me the error value so in order to do that i will use the if error function open the bracket now the for the value which is the syntax or argument in the if error function i will give this cell reference where i need to see if there is an error and want a different result so if i want to identify if g2 throws an error then what if this throws an error i need the result as zero so i will enter zero in the value if error argument and close the bracket enter here you will see because this cell throws an error it is giving me the result as zero when i drag the result down wherever there is an error the result is shown as zero however when there is no error excel automatically identifies that this cell doesn't have an error and it gives me the result of the calculation or the formula function that has been performed similarly there is another function which we can use is the if na function like i mentioned the if na will only look for the na errors so now you can see in the we look up function which is on the right i am try to identify the scores for maths for jenny now jenny is available maths is also available however when i picked up the database i picked up from the wrong column and that's the reason it is not giving me the correct result and giving me an na error it can also be that when i am looking for the english subject for jenny now english is not available in the table so it will again throw you an na error so let's see if there is an na error how do we deal with that i will use an if na function now if na will only be used when there is an when you are trying to only look for the na error so in the value i am going to take the cell reference where i am looking for the error 
and then after the comma this time i am going to say that the data is not available so i'll put it in the inverted comma data not available close the inverted commas close the bracket for the if na enter here wherever there is an na error it will automatically throw the result as data not available now that we have already seen how to use the if na and the if error let's get on a little advance and try to mix it together we have already performed the vlookup and vlookup match and all those functions let's do a simple vlookup and see how you can use an if na or if error function together with vlookup to get your desired result when the data is not available say for example i am going to start with the vlookup function here i have the result uh, i need the result of tentative date of joining for all the students where the their placements are done from the base data so i'm going to start with the v lookup look at name comma go to the base data for understanding how to perform the v lookup please go to the video or the recording where the v lookup function is explained comma because it is in seventh column so seven column index row and then zero as the range look up here you get the result accordingly now because that was a table already i do not have to create the array either drag it down you will notice that while it is giving you the correct data there are few places where you can see the na error now this is happening because this data is not available in our database let's see which is dhara trivedi i'm going to copy and check if it is available in the base data it is not available so it is giving you an error as well so what i'm going to do is I do not want this NA error to be shown in these cells. I want to say that this data not available. So data not available will be my. I want the result when there is an NA error thrown. So I am going to use if NA function along with the VLOOKUP. So before VLOOKUP, I need to check if this VLOOKUP is showing as an error. So I am going to start with an if NA. As we already know, there are two arguments for if NA or if error. So the first argument is value now value is i'm not going to take the cell reference the value will be my formula or the function which i want to evaluate if it is going to return an error so this is my value that i'm picking up after the value i'll enter a comma in the comma after the comma i'm going to enter value if na so that means if this throws an na i need the result as no data available so i'll put it in the inverted commas close the inverted comma close the bracket enter now if i drag the formula down you know that cell 7 sorry row 7 and row 8 6 and 7 shows an error as na now let me drag it down and see if it is giving you the correct result so you can see if i make it a little bigger you will see that the 7 and 8 is now showing as data not available or not data available further you go down you will see all the cells where the data is not available now but now if you want to filter it and get the result for all the ones where the data is not available you can do that by going into filter and enter no data available this is so simple to identify now where the data are not available why you can actually also do the na error but the na error does not look that good and it doesn't give you the clear result as to why is it giving you an na error not only na you can also use the if error function instead of if na if i want to use if error i'll change it to if error and close the bracket it will still give you the same result copy this up here i am so if na or if error results uh, you to the data that you want in case the formula results in an error or it will give you the result of the formula if the formula doesn't result into an error so this is very very useful function hope you found this useful and you will use it thank you for watching to know more follow and subscribe to upgrade